Hey, hey, what's up, good people? This is Ella from ksound.com, and I just wanted to show you guys what we're working with here. I had a few people, as a matter of fact, they came on my channel and asked, hey, are you still working with the machine? Absolutely. So this is my answer to your question. So I'm working on a TV queue. I just purchased a new kit from Native Instruments called Golden Kingdom, and with this kit, I had actually the pleasure of speaking with the guy who created this kit. So big ups to him for creating this kit. Um, this is not really a review of the kit itself, but I am using the kit pretty heavy to create this this cue here. So for my group A, I have drums. My group B, I have keys and some melody elements. Group C is my bass. And I'm really not sure what group D is yet. I have to listen to it again. But this is what it sounds like. Okay. So group D is my strings, pizzicato strings. So that's my TV cue. And basically uh, all of these drums really come from the, the Golden Kingdom. Like I said, this is really not a review or overview of the kit because quite a bit of things came in this kit which is pretty dope uh, if you get the kit the kit comes with like like over I think like over 500 sounds let's start with that and that's amazing right there so I love this kit this this kit is pretty dope <laughs> And everything is sectioned up into different categories. You got the clap, cymbal, hi hat, uh, open, open hi hats, kick, layered, layered drums. Let's see what that sound like. You got percussion, um, moving too fast. Okay. So stuff like that would be like your layered, layered drums or whatever. But yeah, so uh, building this track is, um, I, I, you know, I was really going for something 30 seconds long. I wasn't trying to do something long and spontaneous. You know, it's a TV cue, you know, short, short cue for, you know, different segments going on under the dialogue of the of the main the main star or whoever is talking you know in in the the actual scene or whatever and they go through music so fast so 30 seconds was cool um i may do something for 60 seconds it just really depends it just really depends on um, the good thing about machine i love you know um this is something i still love because i was with machine native instruments when 1.8 or 1.5 was out and there wasn't no 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 time you know the, the 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 timing of the song in here and that's something they definitely implemented you know i i i keep remembering that like it was yesterday like man I, man thank god that they did that because now i can see how long my songs are because before you couldn't so when they updated the um the 2.0 i can see the the, the time the time stamp here and um i can dial it in if i want to or I can just use my um, my uh, my jog wheel, but I can't be in the the browser because it's gonna browse the sound in here. So I have to get out of browser, and then I can move around my my cursor here back and forth. And um, as you can see, it, it is moving back in increments. You know, as well more so to the grid. So is is that bar right now? And I believe I have it set like that to to a bar um i'm really not sure i think i have to change the resolution or something to 
to get it. No, nope. can't do it like that. I forgot how to do that where I can just, you know, get it to just scroll. But I mean, this is fine. This is fine. You know, but by bar. I mean, that's cool. I, I I don't have any anything. You know, and so came up with this and this track right here this drum track is happens to be the same thing looped over and over and over so as you can see it's pattern one throughout the song I have stuff solo I need to unsolo that uh, okay so I mean the the thing about doing doing production inside of a machine and this is what I keep saying on my channel um you, you, I have different guys that wants to know and learn a little bit more about how, the workflow and how it works the, the machine is a little bit different in in terms of production you know everything is in sings and patterns this is what I preach all the time sings and patterns so most of the time your first you know the first thing you do might be four bars long and it just keep looping over and over and over until you go to another scene and the dope thing about this is they labeled this native instruments call this a groove box and it's you know it does exactly that it's a groove box which means it's uninterrupted so if you if the play is engaged that means whenever you hit a new scene it will still roll instead of being interrupted you know what i mean everything can still be on beat you know what i mean so that's that's a good thing about machine in, in my opinion it's it's for perform performance purposes so if you decide you want to switch switch around at any time you know you can so um the other thing i i i i see other you know see guys do on on youtube they they will come in and you know i guess they figured out how to mute and solo so they're so their beats and mute and solo things as 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 if the song was rolling from one to you know what i mean later on i mean that's cool but you know why not you know do it like this you know and this is the part where you need to understand machine here um when you go and and start doing things and song modes and you know what i mean first of all you got to be in the scene area and then you got to hit your all you know i don't know if you've seen that but you can select a scene scene by scene as you can see but if you want everything to play from start to finish you have to hit all in order for everything to play or you could select the scene you could select two scenes at the same time or multiple scenes you can select three at a time or you could do it like that i believe is what wherever scene that you press to the whatever else whatever you know the last thing should i say it will select everything in between it so you can select two scenes and then select everything between it and then it'll just play that that you selected which is cool now see the thing is the other thing is you want to remember well like i just explained before my drums is pattern one all right so that means pattern one is going to play every time and this pattern right here is the ending which means i had to duplicate that i had to duplicate that pattern to make another pattern so just by duplicating it you know makes it actually copy everything you have in the previous pattern to the next pattern and then you know you can make your derivatives or arrangements or adjustments from there you know you know and you do it like that to avoid reprogramming everything you just did in this case because it's the end and it's only one note i could have just dialed that in you know what i mean or just went to another another pattern like that an empty pattern and just did what i need to but um you know and that's sort of what i did 
for the other ones where where there's the melody and keys involved i didn't necessarily want to reprogram that in there so i just you know double that and went in and made my adjustments and chopped the um the length of the pattern to two bars instead of making it four bars and you know and that's sort of like the work that's the workflow pretty much of of machine um so if, if we focus on pattern one for the keys or the melody right so that's pattern one so the reason why it's pattern one here pattern one here as well is doing the same thing but as soon as i introduced something new what i did was i duplicated you know i duplicated the um the pattern here and most of the work was done from the machine itself i'm using this mouse just showing you guys what's going on or whatever but um most of the most of the job was done from the machine itself so um that's that's one of the other great features about the machine is everything is being done from the controller itself there's been many times when my computer screen shuts off completely you know what i mean it hibernates well the computer don't hibernate but the screen cuts off can't see anything and i'm just purely working from the machine because everything is laid out for me and i can achieve everything that i need to you know um only time that i need to turn on the computer is if i'm using a plug-in from a third party because I can't do it from here. So when I go here, I can only see the plugins that are available through native instruments. So that's the thing with that. Maybe that's something that they'll work on in the future, making this, you know, third party plugins available. Or maybe the third party plugins will work to have something, you know, specifically for the machine so that we can see and everything can work. Because when you use a plug-in inside a machine in which you can you can see the parameters as they appear across here let me go to something that has a plug-in okay like this for instance this is the monarch this is actually an instrument but um i actually wanted to go to something that had i i, I actually add a few plugins um now i think this one already came with plugins already on it itself but this is a good example though you have your different um your plugins that you can put on a pad it's itself uh let's go to something that i had i had a i did something to to the the group itself yes i have a what was it was it the drums no, it was the base. So my base here, I added a limiter on the group. Is, and I know I'm going kind of fast. I don't want to confuse you guys. But um, this is a limiter here. And all I did was shift and navigate, by the way. Shift, navigate, I actually changed the screen. It's like, um, I guess this will be, this is your mixer window. And this is your arranger window, your piano roll, your sampler, you know, everything else here. And this is your mixer window and you can switch between your groups and your your uh your actual pad i guess at group level so right now right now i'm at the group level where you see four four different groups but if i need to go to the pad level then you can see the instruments and the plugins on you know on each individual pad if you will according to the group that you that that, that is selected all right I, I guess i have to activate some things or whatever so um yeah i mean as you can see <laughs> this thing is pretty awesome like the different plugins that comes guitar rig and the flat blazer like this is this is just bananas right here um but yeah so that's that's pretty much how that works so i had a limiter on the uh the, the base and i thought i had a i thought i had a a compress on there as well i believe i did but i put a limiter on the group itself because i had some other things coming out of here as well 
Oh, so that's the bell. Okay, this is this is my bass. Yeah, there's a, a VC two A on there. So there is a there is a compress on here and there's a, a, a reverb on here as well. But I believe that reverb came already on here and give it a nice little width. And I I I, I, I don't know if I adjust it or not. But um this is like a this is the sampler. It's more like a, a synthesis to me. Like a well, I take that back. It's it's a sampler where you can have where, where you have all of these these uh different parameters you can control here. You can add some saturation to it if you want to. And again, I can control that inside the machine itself. If I go Had to click up here. See, it, you it's easy to get confused and, and lost because they didn't make machine for beginners. <laughs> Although there's there's a ton of beginners trying to get into it because they know about it. You know what I mean? They know you can you can create some dope stuff and you can. And the the good thing about this is that you can get into the machine and be great at it. And it's like levels of knowledge. It, it's this it's one of those things where you just need to just do it over and over and over and over every day because if you don't you will get lost I, I promise you when I first started I opened it up and I closed it right back up and put it right up under my bed and I didn't touch it for about six months I'm telling you I'm not lying I'm not lying and, and that's just how it started for me because it was like what is this it was complicated and it wasn't this it was the MK1 version it was like that one was more simpler but it still was a beast and you know it just took a youtube video that i seen and i was like really blown away and i'm like wow that's that's you know you could do some really crazy stuff in here so yeah um so if you are in the plugin i can switch between the different pages depending on the plugin itself it may come with like several pages i've been to plugins where i have 13 pages and it's got uh uh LFOs and all types of effects that you can, you know, play around with. But this one has two pages for the the VC two way compressor here. This is a compressor by Native Instruments, and so I can can adjust the threshold as I need to. Uh, the reverb, same thing. The reverb has two pages, and I believe I was playing around with the saturation inside of the plugin on the computer so let's find that here and this is this this is six pages here so let's see if i can find that lfo destination velocity destination the mod wheel i think i passed it up um the first page is is where i can change the engine you know which is cool i play with that sometimes and this is how you can get that npc feel if you want to or that or that s1200 sound uh, i just leave it to standard sometimes i i need that gritty or that mono sound that you know like punchier knock sound um trying to find that uh huh. it's in here somewhere but just goes to show you that you can you can control everything from the control itself and then to get out of and, and that's just you know shift navigator is just for the computer it's for you to see it on the screen but it does nothing that's just a trick though you know it does nothing if you are working from here but i mean it's pretty cool how you can see the the plugin as you know itself so that's that's something i don't know if you guys knew that or not but and then you know when you hit the shift button you can see different parameters that will pop up at the top different things going on you know i want to find that saturation button i got the tune maybe it's right by the tune where the tune is i don't know but i was playing with the saturation here but i'm gonna turn it back down
So for you guys that didn't know that you can use plugins, you know, like I say, machine comes with a handful on its own. You know, in the effects section, you got your, your compressors. You got a, a, a VC76, which is which is modeled after the the classic 1176 by UAD. Most of these are modeled after the uh, UAD stuff. You got a solid um, dynamic, which is your it's another type of compressor. You got your super supercharger, which is like a so sort of, it's sort of like a compressor but it's like a transient designer mixed in um oh by the way i love the transient designer i use that a lot i don't know if i use that in here somewhere I, I thought i did but um yeah so that's that's my tv cue for something a, a tv show that I'm, I'm i'm working with at the moment and I just wanted to show you guys what I got going on so far and a brief, I guess a brief uh, <laughs> tutorial or a, a brief navigating around the machine. If you guys are looking forward to working more with the machine, you want to understand it, you want to do more in it. If you have an MK1, MK2, Micro or the machine studio, doesn't really matter what version you have. I have a course available for you on my website it's www.ksound.com slash asu all right there's a course on there that's labeled learning machine i've broken everything down from the moment i turned on the machine to the the moment that we work inside of studio one as a plug-in and when i do that that's not to say that only studio one users can understand that it's just showing you guys that if you're your DAW supports VSTs or AU or or just plug-in, third-party plug-in. You can pull this up as a plug-in inside your DAW. So that means you can plug, you can pull this up inside of Pro Tools, Logic Pro, Studio One. I believe Bitwig can do it. Um, I want to say, oh, definitely able to live because able to live and machine. They like brothers and sisters. You know what I mean? They they is it's almost like the same kind of workflow in a sense you know with the you know it's just they they both similar if if anything is going to work with each other they they definitely work with each other right there and um you have some other dolls that that will work like FL studio it, it will work with that now as far as reason reason is a little bit different because reason has their own thing going on so you can't use it but you can probably re rewire some stuff you know rewire it that way to to get it to work with reason if you're working with reason um maybe in the future they they there will be something you know where native instruments can can you know sit in you know what i mean in, in one of the seats with everybody else you know what i mean but you know it it, it you know We'll see what happens, but but anyway, I have a course available for you guys if you you willing to learn a little bit more. I do this for real, you know. I'm out here to to help people, and you know, this is what I do. This is what I do, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, remember, this is your boy Ella, and at the end of the day, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture. <laughs>